We just got a whole bunch of brand new Puppy Playtime Smiling Critters plushies, along with some other merch and some brand new Chapter 3 game patches. So without further ado, let's go hop into the video and check out the brand new Smiling Critters plushies. Starting off with this brand new deluxe catnap plush from Fat Mojo. Now this is definitely the most interesting one in this entire video series and why it's first. And as you guys can see, this plushie is actually around 14 inches tall, like a feet and two inches above the feet. It's the exact same height and looks like the exact same size as the official one that Mob Entertainment actually posted. But as you guys can see, it's definitely different when it comes to the actual quality and build. This one does not have a hard nose, but it does have one that's embroidered on there. It does look more game accurate when it comes to the shape of the nose, but since it's not an actual, like, like you know, hard plastic and since there's some border, that's sadly not game accurate. But the mouth is huge and open, and you guys can see that smile is great. I love the smile. I love how, you know, gaping it is. This is perfect. Also, you guys can see the eyes are not like bulging out. They're kind of flat. And in the game, they're supposed to be flat. It would have been better if it was bulging out just a little bit more, but it's still pretty good. And I like the way Fat Mojo went a little bit creative with it. Also, the tail isn't that long and it looks like the zipper here. We have no idea if it's an open or closed. Sadly, it's not an actual amulet, but it's more like a paper fabric -y type thing. So that's kind of sad, but we don't know if it's a real pocket, if you can even open and close the zipper like the official one. But as you guys can see the back, everything looks perfect and it definitely looks like a great plush. So you're probably wondering, this plush must be expensive for something. Also, if you're wondering, this is a close-up photo of how the tag looks. But no, this plush is only going to retail for $17. Yes, only $17. This photo was found on, of course, Walmart.com. We have no idea if Fat Moser is going to be making all the other, you know, Smiling Critters plushies. Right now, they just released this cat nap. We don't know if they're going to be making even a smaller one or a monster form or anything like that. All they got to say is that this is not 100% game accurate, for, but, the, but the price you're getting and the detail you're getting in this plush is definitely a great price to range detail and I definitely will be reviewing this so stay tuned for that but it's a brand new deluxe catnap plot. Now let's talk about these dudes you see on the thumbnail and probably been seeing around. You probably thought that they were fake or knockoff, and to be fully honest, I thought the exact same thing. But it turns out GHHS is kind of like a YouTube channel that many people call a farm, content farm. It's where they just post animations of, you know, Poppy Playtime or anything popular, rank up millions of views, and that's really how the channel goes. But right now, they've actually made an official collaboration with Poppy Playtime. All the plushies are for pre-orders, and as you guys can see, all products are officially ide official items authorized by Mob Entertainment. Also, pre-orders cannot be canceled during the ship shipping preparation. And to let you guys know, I did ask the Poppy Playtime devs on Discord, and yes, they are 100% official. So without further ado, let's go look at actually all of them. The very first one we got here is Catnap, but I do want to say that before we hop into here, we should probably look at the price right well no i'm gonna keep it a surprise i think it's better to just talk about the plushie before the price so this is of course catnap as you guys can see this plush is not going for a game accurate plush to you know real life plush unlike all the other catnaps we've been getting from like youtube's the official mob and now this new deluxe one from fat mojo they're trying to copy the in-game plush from you know, Poppy Play from Chapter 3. But this plush is trying to copy the cardboard cutout animation style. You could tell because it has the tongue and, of course, the shape of the whole entire plush and, of course, the white eyes inside. So when it comes to that, it's not a bad plush. It's definitely not that game accurate, but the charm is, like, not that bad, you know? I don't... The plush is a lot smaller than, you know, the other official plushies we've been getting. It's kind of like a size of a U2's plush or makeshift if you ever get those. It does have a hard nose. It's not that game accurate or accurate to the actual plush, but the mouth is pretty good. The tail looks pretty long and it looks like an okay plush. Dog Day is just Dog Day. His face just looks a little bit off, but yeah, this is meant to look like a cardboard cutout. Crafty Corn also looks pretty cool. You know, this has the flower charm, and it's of course meant to look like the cartoon cutout. This is Hoppy Hopscotch, and out of all of them, I think Hoppy is definitely the best, in my opinion. I like the way the ears are just really big. I like the eyes, and also this is our very first official Hoppy Plus show. We are going to get a Crafty Corn from YouTube's, but this is our very first official Hoppy Plush. So it's definitely really interesting, as you guys can see. The next one we got here is also our very first official Picky Piggy. 
as you guys can see here, you got the apple, she's just there, you got the little tail, the piggy tail. So definitely these plushies are not that bad. I do wish they could be a little bit bigger and a little bit more detailed. And you could, some people could like pass these off for being knockoffs or something like that, because they would look like that. I did see the ad when I was on the YouTube shorts when I came across one of these and I was like, they don't look real. This is a bag for someone of Picky Piggy. And then we got also have my first official plush for also kicking chicken because remember, they're making every single one of the eight smiling critters. You can see the tongue, the charm, everything like that. It's not too bad of a plush. Yes, it's not accurate to the actual game. And this one's not as accurate to the you know, cardboard cut out, the head shape looks a little bit off. Hey, guess what? This is the halfway mark, meaning if you made it to this half of the video, I am legally required to ask you to please subscribe. You don't have to, but it'll really make my day, and if you don't want to subscribe, liking, commenting, just finishing watching the video will really help me out. Anyway, sorry for hijacking the video. And we also got here a Bobby Bear hug, which looks pretty great. The ears look a little bit too big for the plus, but beside that, Everything looks pretty great, and I really have nothing else wrong to say about Bobby Bearhug. She looks pretty good. And now for the very first, and very last one, actually, it's Bubba Bubba Fint. Also, my very first time getting an official Bubba plush. As you guys can see, it has the white eyes like the cartoon, his charm, and everything like that. But the Smiling Critters plushies, of course, is really, really simple. Now, when you look at all these plushies just from a standalone point of them being from the animation and cardboard cutout, they're pretty good. They're not that detailed, and you're probably wondering what the price is now because, you know, they don't look that detailed. But anyways, at the end of the day, I gotta say is I, I really do like the plushies, though. I wouldn't mind getting every single one of them, but I'll let you know about the price. They're selling for $34 and they're also on sale. The pre-order sale price. When these are off pre-orders and they and it's gonna be for regular sale, they're gonna cost $38, not including shipping and tax. Meaning you're paying almost $40 for this plush. Keep in mind, of course, they're smaller than other plushies like Fat Mojo and things like that. And these plushies are, of course, not even as detailed as other plushies, like the official Mob plush. Those are more detailed, look a lot better, are a lot bigger, and cost $10 less. So yeah, so these costed around 20, 15, any range from that. I would have been totally fine. I know to manufacture these probably cost like what, a dollar, a few cents, who knows? I gotta say that the price definitely throws it off for me. I don't think the plushies are bad at all. It's the very first time getting all the smiling critters and of course in their cartoon form, not to make it look like the actual plushies, you know, from in-game plushies. But still, I do think it's a little bit too much for plushies, but you guys can let me know in the comments below what do you guys do think about the you know, price. Also, when it comes to more merch, we just got a brand new Jumbo official PJ Pugapillar plush. This plush is on for pre-order, and if you order it within the next nine hours, by the time I'm recording this, it'll probably be, what, six to five hours? You'll be able to get it early March. But if you wait after that, and this video is more than a day old, then you're gonna have to wait until April, April-ish to May-ish to actually get the plush in. It's of course a pre-order for 42 inches long. If you're wondering what that is, it's like three and a half feet long, almost four feet, but cutting it a little bit too short. So yes, a more than three foot tall PJ plush. But yes, the plush is in a retail for around $60. It's kind of like double the price for the PJ is, and he's kind of like double the length with a little bit more. So 60 bucks is not a bad price this long boy. As you guys can see, he is big. He's huge. If you get like two of these PJs on top of each other, it'll be taller than a person, than the average per person. It'll probably be around seven, almost seven foot tall. So yes, it's pretty crazy to see how tall two of these could be. One of them is almost four feet tall. Like that is, that is definitely long and not tall because it's not standing. As you guys can see, it's just one big old boy. Really long. Like this, this could be like someone just sleeping with it on a pillow. You can make it a pillow. You also see the back, his little tummy. It's just, it really cute. But anyway, that's it for the plushies and merch. Now let's go talk about the brand new Chapter 3 patch. They have some brand new main, uh, minor, major gameplay changes. This patch did release around three days ago, added new features that allow shaders to build during the loading screen to enhance performance, added a wall in the dome that was previously missing next to the poppy plant panel, added an ollie call to help guide the player after plugging in the castle's office plug, adjusted the crouch height of the player, refined how the smiling critters return to the home after being shot in with the flare gun and, you know, the playhouse, added lights to the pull handle in the final encounter, changed both crouch and sprint on controls, controllers to be toggled 
uh, after the left and right stick are held for 0.2 seconds. Updated the credits to fix some spelling mistakes. Added on screen sub subtitles while doing the tutorial in the final encounter. Added a feature that locks uh, FOV while in cutscenes to help immersion. Cleaned up buttons in the main menu to not be as blurry. Added an animation to the power cell in the inshell tunnel. Added an animation for the blue power cell in the dome. But now for bug fixes, because there's a lot of them. Fix an issue that caused Ollie's voice line not to trigger properly after completing a final encounter. Fix an issue that caused corrupt decals in Home Sweet Home. Fix an issue that caused Kissy and Poppy uh, cutscene to break. Fix an issue that caused Prototype Shrine to be too dark in medium settings. Fix an issue that caused one of the doors in the school to remain locked after, un after unlocking. Fix an issue that caused the four battery receivers to show as powered before having all four batteries placed in the final encounter. Fix an issue that caused the trash compactor to start primarily in the tunnels, in the intro tunnels. So that means like you can't really start it <laughs> while in the intro cutscene. Fix an issue that allowed the players to open the phone room without completing the puzzle in the intro tunnels. Fix an issue that caused uh, characters to be missing in Je Japanese. Fix an issue that caused dog days, jump scare, sound to play twice. Fix an issue that caused a uh, tool tip in intro tunnels not to appear properly. Fix an issue that allowed the players to get to get stuck behind a gate after Kissy responds in the hatch room of the gas production zone. Also, they added a now you're able to replay cutscenes, meaning if you have to sadly re replay the entire game again if you already completed it, and now you'll be able to go and replay certain sections without trying to replay the entire game again, which is also pretty amazing. But anywho, that's me if this video. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys do think about all the brand new plushies, game changes, merch, and all stuff like that. Don't forget to check out half my other videos right here, and goodbye.